All right. Hey, Mandy, it is time for another Podkins, and this is going to be a fun one, right? Because we have a special guest. That's right. I'm going to be playing a game with someone who always beats me whenever we play. It's Sally. Sally, welcome <laughs> to the you show. Most of the time. Not all the time. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think, Mandy, you won when we played our last trivia. That's true. I, d- I did win the last one. So, but this one definitely we'll see. Sally's got the skills when it comes yeah. to trading. Yeah. We're going to be playing the trading game. We played this game once before. It's a lot of fun. That's where Mandy and Sally go to the trading room and try to trade up to the most valuable or rarest item that they can find or trade with in the trading room. I'll explain a little bit more about that later. It's a great show today because we're playing the trading game. We're also going to sneak peek Fall Fest and we're going to check to see what's in our Kins post. And at the end of the episode, we're actually going to be giving away a four pack of 2018 Fall Fest soda, which is great. You just enter the code at the code shop to unlock your soda. And every single time you feed one of those bottles of Fall Fest soda to your pet, you're going to win a prize. And here's a look at the prizes from back in 2018. There are those apple seeds, peach seeds. I love those creek tiles. And there's a plushie and a couple of those ironwood pieces that we released recently. But these are beautiful prizes. Yeah, we've been releasing a lot of seeds this year, right? We did. We just had our veggie fest, right? Where people could find the floating seeds. And that mango gecko, try saying that three times fast, <laughs> um, was very busy during August and was handing out parsnip seeds at Daisy's Patio on Webkin's News. Right. So yeah, I think you and I talked about this last podcast, how we're going to have to work on a recipe that uses those parsnip seeds, maybe. Yeah. Or sure. the parsnips, not the par- not the parsnip seeds, but the actual <laughs> parsnips. <laughs> yes, the delicious parsnips. I should mention that every single time you feed your pet Fall Fest soda, Sally, there's a chance that they can win the grand prize, right? And this is a look at the grand prize back from 2018. Yeah, but it looks uh, pretty nice. I wouldn't mind one of those in my own yard. No, absolutely. It's like a, a little cottage. And actually, for the past previous episodes of Podkins, we've been doing a giveaway where if you leave a comment in the comment section, we have picked five random players to award a prize. And so we're going to do the <laughs> same thing this time for 146. So guys, if you leave a comment on Podkins 146 on Webkins News, we're going to randomly pick five players to give away to give this cottage to so there you go so you'll have a chance to win the cottage when you feed your pet the fall fest sodas but five players are actually going to be awarded this cottage so um stay tuned for that guys we're going to leave the date that you have to comment by in the article so you'll know when the deadline to win that prize is so there you go so mandy we have a special announcement to make this podkins right we do uh now some people might have seen this on webkins news already but we're so excited to announce the winner of our holiday room theme design. So this was a beautiful, really unique fireplace that a lot of our players seem to agree with us was really cool. It's called Mod Holiday by Resonating Thunder. And I love it. And I can't remember offhand what the three other items will be, but if you check Webkin's News, you'll be able to see the suggested items by Resonating Thunder. And we're going to ask you for ideas for what you think should also be in the theme. And if you look down the left, uh, Resonating Thunder has included like a, a nice color palette. And you can see that sort of coral, which I think would be a really pretty color. And I think if I remember correctly, it was a corally pink shimmery color. Christmas tree that resonating thunder suggested to go with it. So I think this is going to be a really, really cool thing. And we're so excited to hear everybody's suggestions for some of the other items and congratulations to resonating thunder because that is such a unique fireplace. I'm really happy this one won. I love when we do fan design contests. There are so many great entries. Oh, yeah. it's so hard as always it, sorry yeah no it is it is definitely tough to narrow it down let alone pick only one from the hundreds of submissions we received but the mod holiday theme is going to be this year's christmas room theme and it will be available in the w shop starting on december 1st so look very for that, guys. exciting it's especially good when we uh release fan design themes that are in the w shop that everybody can get. It's really going to be an exciting one for everyone. Absolutely. So before we start our trading game, the Webkins Clubhouse, let's check to see what's in our Kins post. Okay, so our first one is from Georgia, 
who I guess Pink Bright is probably their um, Webkin's username. And they say, hi, Podkins. My name is Georgia and I'm a sophomore in college. I recently picked up Webkin's this summer and it has been just as much fun as I had remembered. In this stressful time in my life and a lot of people's lives as well, Webkin's has been extremely comforting. Thank you to Mandy, Michael, and everyone who makes Webkin's possible. It means more than you know. Sincerely, Georgia aka Pink Bright or Pink Bridget Pink maybe Bridget, sorry yeah. yeah sorry about that yeah so thank you so much for such a kind letter Georgia it is stressful for all of us too so <laughs> we're so happy that Webkins is still able we've been really lucky right guys that we have a job where we're all able to work remotely and keep bringing new content and keep Webkins chugging away for everyone because it seems like a lot of people are finding it a nice comfort in this time absolutely we're all working hard from home but we're also having fun playing webkins so thank you for your email and by the way anybody who has an email read on the show we send you something cool from the e-store so make sure you check your inbox for an email from mandy and i so zali would you like to read the next one sure tickles hi podkins i love webkins world and all my friends and all the cool events there are my favorites are berry fest and wacky fest I heard elections are coming up soon for a new mayor, and my vote goes for Wacky. Best Webkins character ever. If there's any way I can help partition, I would love to. Thanks, Webkins. Ooh, Lily. Otherwise known as Tickles. Yeah. So Wacky. Wow, that would be an interesting mayor. That is. <laughs> well, you know what? They make a great point. It is an election year in Kinsville. Yeah. So um, every couple of years, there's a big election and to determine who will be the mayor of Kinsville. Of course, Sophie Stockwell is the current mayor, but you'll have to wait until November to find out if she's running again or who will be running for mayor. It's always an exciting event in Webkin's world. But thank you, Tickles. I have one more here. This is from Plenty of Penguins. And they say, Hi, Michael and Mandy. This is the second time I'm sending in a letter. And I love seeing the letters other players send. I just finished watching Podkins 145. And when I saw the room design some players sent in, I thought about the weekly room design shown on Webkin's News. It's fantastic seeing the rooms Webkin's players create because they inspire me to decorate rooms in ways I wouldn't have thought of before. I was actually wondering how often the room design awards come around. I've sent in several pictures in the past, and it's so neat seeing them featured in room design posts. I'm always creating new rooms. And here is one of my favorites, your friend, Plenty of Penguins. Well, let's take a look. I love this. It's a fabulous wow. hall room. Yeah, it's a beautiful living room. I love how spacious it is and everything is just placed perfectly. Beautiful design. Now, is that wallpaper from Jumbleberry Fields or was yes. that the chalet yep. wall? Oh, no, it, it's nice. Jumbleberry Fields. Yeah, it's very cozy. Really nice. And I love the reds and the oranges. And you know what? That window with the purple curtains, they pick up a little bit of the fall colors too. It's yeah. really, really a nicely put together room. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, fall themed prizes from fall fests and acorn collections and things like that. They've used a lot here. We're actually going to sneak peek this year's fall fest prizes, but I just wanted to say plenty of penguins did ask about the room design awards. We hold them every few months and actually there's one coming up soon and you're going to be able to see who made the finals on September 14th and you'll be able to start voting for your favorite designs i believe it's on the 18th of september so uh, I, stay tuned to that yep i was just going to jump in and say one more thing about the room before we yeah <laughs> Oh, because go ahead. I just wanted to say I love the way that they have put the wagon wheel wall decorations behind right. those bookcases on either side of that wardrobe because it sort of looks like it could be one piece and it fits so well together. I mean, the whole room is fantastic, but I just noticed that and I had to call it out because that was a pretty ingenious Good eye. Yep. those items. Yeah. Beautiful. Those fall lanterns there actually on the table. I think that you could make those during the uh, Adventure Scout challenge. Or, uh, yes. Yeah, we, we have. Oh, I was going to say we have given those away before as fall fest prizes, I believe. But then we introduced them as a recipe item right. in Adventure Scout. So if you want to check the W shop for the Adventure Scout cookbook, you might have the ingredients to make some of these for yourself. There you go. And while you're there, you can check out the Farm Fresh cookbook as well. Well, thank you. Thank you, Plenty of Penguins, for your email. You should check your inbox as well for an email from uh, Mandy and I. And guys, if you'd like to send us an email 
please feel free to email us at podkins at gans.com. Maybe you have a question for Mandy, Sally, or I, or you just want to say hi. We'd love to hear from you. The Inside Scoop! Now, we're taking a look at the September events. We're right in the Super School giveaway. On the 14th, actually, there's going to be a Spree Trophy Challenge. Oh, actually, sorry, there's a Trophy Challenge that's happening before that. A week before, you'll be able to play the Ant Mania Trophy Challenge for a chance to win the trophy. Then Spree. Then, actually, on the 21st, we move right into Fall Fest, and I love the Fall Fest event. By the way, throughout the whole month of September, you're going to be able to collect acorns from your Kinsville map. We showed off these prizes last podkins, and this event is actually currently going on at webkins.com. But I just thought I'd show them again because, Sally, I love these prizes. They're so beautiful. Yeah, I I really love how you can sort of, it feels like you're in your own personal library. I can just picture the one I want to make with one of these. No, absolutely. And you can play through this event more than once. So I can just imagine collecting just a few of those bookshelves and just making this really grand library for your pets. Yeah, and as we talked about in the last episode, they actually also make great room dividers because uh, right. they've got a beautiful back as well. So that's a great thing about Webkin's items too is sometimes they're beautiful <laughs> from every angle, right? Yep. These will be so useful in many no, ways. No, absolutely. As I mentioned before, Fall Fest is going to occur from September 21st to 30th in Webkin's World. And during this event, you'll be able to see leaves floating across your screen. And when you click on one, you are automatically awarded one of these Fall Fest prizes. And I think these are beautiful this year. You're definitely going to want to collect multiples of them. But if you'll notice, we actually have new growing garden seeds. They're red oh. bell pepper seeds. This is like the year of seeds and those border buildings. <laughs> but I love seeds because you always want multiples of them. Maybe uh, we'll do a recipe with these red bell peppers and those parsnips. Right, Mandy? Yeah, great idea. We'll have to update well, our like farm to- fresh cookbook. Sorry, what's that? Make a, a ratatouille or something like that. Oh, nice. Oh, no, absolutely. Or a shish kebab or something. Also, I should mention that we have those beautiful quilt floor tiles. You can see nice. them on the right. Yeah, they're five. So last November, I think it was, Mandy, or it was I think it was right holiday. before Christmas. I think right, it was, it was the, around the holidays. December, maybe, yeah. We had these beautiful quilted floor tiles that players could use to design their own flooring in their pet's room. And so this is sort of the same idea. You can arrange them however you'd like on your pet's floor to create a unique quilted pattern flooring. It could look like a carpet. If you get enough, you can cover up the whole floor. They were and really you can popular. rotate them too, right? So that yep. you could even create a cool design using multiples of just one, you know? So yeah, there's so many options. Yeah, and we just saw plenty of Penguin's room design and it had a nice big floor area. And I think some of these quilts would look perfect in that room. So maybe Excellent. they'd like to update it after this event. And hey, plenty of penguins, if you do, send me your updated room design so we can show it off on a podkins. But I should mention as well, those three bottom prizes, the window, the picture, and the cucumber seeds, those yep. are repeat prizes from last year. But of course, you'd always want multiples of those. Love that Fall Fest 2020 poster, by the way, because actually you'll see the border of that poster is actually made with those quilt tiles. Then we have this awesome Fall Fest uniform there, like that uh, apron and hat. And the corn on the cob and funnel cake, those are presentable food items. So you can actually present them in your Mm. pet's room. I love presentable food items. Sally's our foodie. Yes. (laughs) Yes, I will. I will gladly take all of the food. There you go. And so, of course, during Fall Fest, we also offer Fall Fest soda, like the ones we're giving away today. But this year for the 2020 Fall Fest soda, here's a look at those prizes. And as you can see, actually, there are five Fall Fest soda quilt patches as well. They're a little bit more detailed. They have images on them and they make perfect companions or those other ones that we just and saw. And what is that seed? You can grow an owl in webcam? <laughs> <laughs> They're cookies. They're cookies. No. So yeah, so there's two different types Yummy. of seeds. <laughs> there are owl cookie seeds and pumpkin spice cookie seeds. Oh, nice. Pumpkin and then, spice for life. Mm, yeah. And melon. Yeah. Cute. Um, the creek tiles there, those are returning prizes, but players love those and need a lot of them in order to make it I nice. Love, they're big ones, right? Like they're bigger yep. than our normal creek tiles and they look 
fantastic in a row. I mean, all our Creek to Hells do, but these ones really make a bold statement. They're so cool. They're beautiful. Yeah, you really feel the depth of these ones. Yep, and um, the Fall Fest side table is returning. The owl there peeking out of the stump, and of course, the cantaloupe seeds as well. So there you go. And of course, just like you have the chance of winning that uh, little cottage from the 2018 Fall Fest soda, you're going to have a chance to win a Fall Fest barn from the 2020 soda. This is an awesome item, and it actually fits along the border of your room, like we've done with other buildings this year. You can use it to store items as well, but I think it's beautiful. I can't wait to see that in room, because it's pretty deep, right? So that'll be... uh... But it looks great, especially with our extended wallpapers, and I could just see a field of owl cookies being grown. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, there you go, guys. That was your sneak peek of Fall Fest. Don't forget, it runs from September 21st to 30th in Webkins. And now I'm excited because we're going to play a game. It's Sally versus Mandy for a trading game in the clubhouse. And, uh, <laughs> I don't have to do any of the work. I just get to watch you guys trade. But I know you're both avid traders. I'm not such a trader. I just like going and hanging out in the trading room and saying hi to people. And sometimes I get like the new pets quite a while before they come out. So I like to sneak peek them. I like to take them for a walk in the trading room so that people can get a sneak peek at new pets that are coming out. And uh, right. so I don't know how good I am at trading. But, uh, I'm not actually a great trader either. I usually like just giving them cool stuff for food yeah so well, keep your expectations low michael <laughs> <laughs> well no when we played last time you guys ended up with some pretty cool stuff so let me just explain how this works the idea for this actually came there was a story a few years ago where there was a man who wanted to see how much he could trade up for or what he could acquire in a trade. So the idea was he started out with a paperclip and he went around trading with different people and actually ended up at the very end with a house, which is crazy. So, you know, he started with a paperclip and he traded it maybe for a trinket and then he traded it up for some sort of toy and then a tool. And then eventually he ended up with the house. So I thought that was a really neat idea. And so today, Mandy and Sally are going to start with 10 items. You see them here. They're actually those growing garden seeds from Veggie Fest. There are a few bake sale prizes. So the cafeteria counter, Camp Kins Lake Tile ticket booth. And then there were balloons there from a previous collection event and a knapsack from the Berry Fest. So these are nice prizes, but I mean, they're not very rare. And so Mandy and Sally are going to start out with these in their dock and they can also use any other item from the W shop. They're going to head to the trading room and use these to try to trade up for a rare or or valuable prize and they can only make three trades they can use any item that they acquire in one of those trades in a future trade and the player who ends up the most valuable item wins now i'm going to be the judge to see which of those items are considered the most valuable and the only other rule is you can't let players know what you guys are up to so you can't say oh we're playing a game on podkins can you please uh, you know give me a really cool item because i really want to beat my opponent so you can't do that it's got to be a secret or try to keep it as much as a secret as possible i will uh, not be chatting because i can't like talk and chat and trade at the same time so i think i'm just gonna go to the regular trading room so right. i won't be giving anyone any hints when uh, when i go in yep you can use kins chat or kins chat plus but i think this is great because if anybody watching is not familiar with how trading works, maybe you'll learn something here. So let's head to the clubhouse. Okay, guys, so here we are at the clubhouse. And so, as I said, I I don't think I can manage typing and thinking and talking at the same time. So I'm just gonna go into the regular Kins Chat and I'm also not very good with the scroll down. So I hope everybody doesn't think, you know, that I'm not being friendly, but I, I'm just gonna try and get in and trade and, and get out without too much chit chat. And and I apologize everybody. If you're talking to me and I'm not answering, it's because I'm trying to no. concentrate. So I see so, that you have the ten items in your dock. I did that because I have a ridiculously big dock and I got everything ready to go in my new section. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna grab someone. I usually let people come to me. You know what? I'll wait and see. I usually let people come to me, but I wasn't sure this time. Uh, Maybe if I come up here, they might 
they might recognize me in my Gans hat. <laughs> what kind of hat is that cat wearing there? It's like an animated spinny hat. Looks neat. Oh, oh I yeah. know that trade with Al with Ron. So this so, is your oh, first they've, trade. Yes, and they've got the new Bobcat kitten. So a great pet. All right, I'm going to... Oh, they've got that nice dentist chair. So oh, That's a pretty valuable see. item. What, that I... Oh, the dentist chair. The dentist chair, chair yeah. I'm going to try some growing seeds. I think the earth table is also curio shop only. I really shouldn't be giving you any help. Uh -oh, so they... Uh -oh. All right, that's it. I'm not going to say any more about... The... Uh -oh. They don't like any of my items. Uh-oh. What am I going to do if they don't like anything? I'm going to have... If they, if they don't go for anything I have, I'll, ha I'll just have to quit and hope that somebody else wants to trade because I, I'm, I think I'm going to try and stick with the stuff. That you I love that pet. ticket window, by the way. It's one of those items that you're actually you'll you you can add to the wall, and your pet looks like it's sitting behind it. Oh, should I go for that earth table? Go for the well. I would I would have to say out of these items, the dentist chair is the most valuable out of the three. You know yeah. what? Why don't There's I dentist chair for that? That fountain, I believe, is an exclusive. So, now I gave up my chance on the dentist chair. Oh well. Um. <laughs> They don't want your stuff. I don't want my stuff. I think we've done too many uh, trading sessions with uh, cool stuff. Well, wait, what about, is that a PSI, that Gypsy Banner? I believe PSI? so. That's a great mm. one. The Elephant Fountain. It is. Classic. I don't really have much more to offer. Because you said the only other thing we could do is W Shop <laughs> items. So I have a feeling that if they don't like anything I'm offering now, they're not going to like anything oh anyway that was a nice try that doesn't count of course mandy can continue to trade but i think this is fun for people to watch anyway because it's sure all yeah absolutely uh let's see so i'm gonna try this ticket window again because it's pretty cool uh what it sally what's that table from is that neo gothic it mm -hmm. looks like it uh-oh i'm not having much luck so i'm gonna the flower is a rare item I want. That was super good. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Try another few things, but again, this. Well, I don't have a super <laughs> bad story. Will you settle for some seeds? No. Oh, oh, you gotta, you gotta. Oh, there you go. Okay. Should I try? I know you want a super oh. bad. I'm sorry. I don't have a super bad to trade. I wish I did, and I think. Oh, oh, oh no! no. <laughs> this is not going well for me. So Michael far. set us up to fail. Oh. oh. Okay, come on, bro. I thought players would be interested in those seeds. Well, they just got them, so maybe they're kind of fresh in their minds. You know. Is that There's right? a podium that you can win when you spin the wheel when you take your pet for recess. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hmm. Okay. I don't recognize that sofa. Let's see. Oh, it's a PSI. It's the Budgie's PSI. And that cauldron. What is that from? I don't know. No, because I know we have a cauldron, but I, I don't think I've seen this particular cauldron. Uh, did I try some seeds? Did they go for any <sighs> seeds? Oh, this is not going well for me so far, guys. Maybe get something really expensive from the W shop so they at least they can sell it back to make some kids cash. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh, there wait. you go. All right. Let me see. Did I try the celery seeds? Because I would definitely take that PSI. You can use these seeds to make recipes. And um, yeah. you can check out those recipes in the farm fresh. Yes, that's available. Oh, candy apple seeds. Should I take that too? Oh, no, I don't. I wanted, oh, I wanted that fudgy PSI, but you know what? This is fine. I'm going to take that cauldron. Nice. Candy they, apple too. Yeah, they swapped out some of the stuff there. Oh, they swapped out all of it. <laughs> you weren't paying attention. Wait, they swapped out all of it right before I hit trade. Oh, my God. Goodness, and I but didn't get that call. What's that? It was a more fair trade. No, oh, I know it was, but I'm saying it for this, for the purposes of this game. Yeah. <laughs> we 
just that I was trying to get something good. It wasn't ideal for me. A Campion's floor Oops. tile is awesome. I Your know. Can swim in it, and it can be placed in. I just, I feel like I'm going to have to concede to Sally. <laughs> that table that I've offered even there. Finished. I believe that was from a previous flower collection event. So that actually has some value. Which, the mushroom or the, oh yeah, the mod. That is one. it the mod patio table? Yeah. No, garden no. patio table. Yeah, yeah, but it's from uh, a collection event. I'm not sure where that toadstool is from. Was uh, that... Was that one the ones we made for the goblin event or maybe it was mm. yeah no that was uh, more purple i think oh i think okay. but it is a trap i don't know uh Hover your cursor over it maybe we can see at least yeah of course is. what is it let's see purple my it, it is i think we made that for the goblin event did i show them right. the oops i showed them the lake tall did i show them the cafeteria counter i'm not gonna win this but let me see i'll try oh, i'll try that. and uh, i uh, i'll try the green apple seeds maybe they'll go for that nope. no maybe you know what i'm gonna i'm going to just like that one mm -hmm. and not like this one see if they'll just trade one for one there you go okay there you go, there you go. okay there's something nice. okay there so i get one more try Okay, come on, Flo. We can do this. Well, I'm sorry, Tawny, but I don't have any rare items to trade you because no. Michael won't let me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the ticket window, so that's that's a nibble. Okay. There you go. Trading sure. my table and see if I get that's something a good strategy for it. Oh, okay now. Mm, that's. I believe I think that I'm, was a previous Ball Fest prize. That's from the W shop. Okay, I'm gonna have to say no to that. Sorry, Tawny. If I were not trying to compete in a game, I would accept your your generous trade. But the table that you have is more valuable. That's a okay. the satchel is. I'd say I that. I don't think it's as valuable as the table. No. I don't think that. Mm, oops, no. I'm gonna say no. I don't think either of these are more valuable than the table, so I'm I'm gonna say no to them. Sorry, Tawny. I hope you watch podcasts, Tawny, so that you understand that I am <laughs> <laughs> not against your items, but I'm trying to trade up to something better. Oh, that's actually worth something, isn't it? That's like the little. Oh no, it's the construction overalls. Uh, how do you get those? I'm not. Sure. Or... You get that from watching the ads. Oh, okay. It's one of the ad prizes. I don't remember. It might be a Kinstall shop item. You know what? What if I took the garden patio table back for this one, and then we did a, a trade for one thing? Oh, wait. Space Sage Smock. That could be from a challenge. Hmm. I know where it's from. What if I say... Where is it? All right. I'm going to say no. I'm going to give away all the good stuff. All right. Secrets, man. <laughs> yeah, so Sally. I'm gonna say yes to the space age smock and no to the other things and hope that okay. And then I'm gonna say ready to trade. And that's my final one. So I don't know. I got a garden patio table and hopefully I get a space age smock. Even though Sally's gonna turn around and say it's worth nothing, uh -huh. but <laughs> and it's a regular. Ed. Okay. There you so. go. That's it for me. All right, and guys, Great job. I'm sorry if I if I didn't do well at trading with you. My apologies. All right, let's go. Let's see. What okay. I yeah, I'm doing kids chat plus because I want to explain why I'm not trading good stuff. Oh, you <laughs> like, do explain. Oh, yeah. I say I, I I tell them I've only got a few things that I can trade today. Maybe I should have gone into kids chat plus. Well, you know, we have a reputation. Everyone knows that we, they can just offer us food and we give them cool stuff, so. Well, but some, that's when we're trading for Easter. Sometimes when I just go in on my own, I want cool stuff, too. <laughs> <laughs> I usually just hand out signed posters when I'm at the post. 
It's always a bit of preamble. Got to got to chit chat a bit, and then it takes me yeah. a while. Ooh. Looking for something. Something more valuable than a garden tape. I don't know. That's a it's pretty high bar there. Offering up the Campkins Lake Tile. Lake Tile's pretty cool. So it is, is your... so cool. No, no, oh. I'm not looking for the Campkins one. <laughs> one. All right, let's try something else. So you, your strategy here, Sally, is just offering up one item at a time? Uh, yeah, you know, just because, you know, I don't want to overwhelm them sometimes. And just trying to see, just trying to start off slow. I don't want to give away everything on the first trade. Oh, they don't like me. See, this one works for you, Mandy. Yes, I. I think it might be. Fairy oh, no. King's Wand. Ooh, that's a nice one. It is nice. What is that from? I'm... It's a Ferrykin's item. It's an Easter is that item. Easter? Okay. Oh, gosh. Four of us. No one can have one. anything that cool. Sorry. Ah, I can't buy my stuff. There you go. How about balloons? Take that. Balloons? Balloons are also a collection prize. Yeah, They're I know. This is tough. Yeah. They're actually from this year's Valentine collection event. Yeah. That occurs throughout. It's, it's a tough one because, you know, you want them to give up something valuable, so it's tricky. Yeah, but you also don't want to take advantage of people. Just give me anything cool. Something. Ooh. Is that, that one? Yeah, that's, 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 I think, the year 10 bunk bed. Yeah. So I think that's the Easter only one. Maybe we did a special challenge for our 10th year anniversary. And that was one of the grand prizes. Maybe. I can't remember offhand, but it is a valuable item. Yeah, because wasn't that, was that the first bunk bed we did? Or wasn't that around the time that we first? I believe so. Maybe. See, here I am apologizing because I feel guilty trying to take their cool stuff. That like year yeah. was from a Summer Sensation day. event. I believe from this year, it was the Frog Prince chair. By the way, if we're wrong on any of these items and where they're from guys if you're watching please feel free to leave a comment in the section uh, in the comment section letting us know where these items are from well there are the parsnip yeah. seeds yeah seeds uh, for seeds for seeds yeah you know i mean it's the parsnip awesome. it's marginally no i don't know if it's anymore that's okay yeah i don't know if it's more valuable because you got one every day for what was it two weeks or something like that Yep. But you know, you know, this wasn't going anywhere, so let's uh Yeah. Let's see. Did the trade go through? It did. I traded seed for seeds. Nice. So there you go. That's trade number one. Sally has two more trades um in order to try and find ha! something more valuable than that table that Mandy was able to acquire. I love uh, how they are. They're always so excited. It is me. <laughs> <laughs> When we were planning this podcast, oh, I was we're thinking, busted. you know, we're busted. Abort, abort. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's try these guys again. I'm mean, gonna just throw everything at her this time. Take my Very stuff. Nice. By the way, I would have to say that some of the most valuable items in Webkin's world would be those family score prizes because you have to hit milestones in order to earn them, and um, you can only ever earn one per account. So. I have some PSI. Uh oh. Oh no! Don't give your PSI, Jody. Oh man. <laughs> Not because I don't want Sally to win. I just want. Oh my goodness. I just want Jody to. So wait, is that other one a PSI too? The three ring. I, I don't. Yeah, know. it is. It's an elephant PSI, isn't it? I don't remember. The big top. The big top elephant. Oh okay. I if think Sally, Sally may have off, won. If Sally pulls this off, I believe that she will have won because, of course, yeah. the ice cream truck is a collection event grand prize. I don't know if I can oh, take all fine. these things from them. This is that's this is so unfair. I can't take all of this. Just put a happy yeah, face you just on, need one. on one of them. Yeah, I'm. I'm not only going to let them give me one. I think this is is too much. And then you can come back tomorrow and trade them back. <laughs> Maybe. Or add Jody to your friends list, and then you can send them a kiss. That's true. 
Yeah, I might do that. All right, let's go for the speedster. All right. PSI, of course, really valuable. You can only acquire PSIs by adopting a pet. Every pet comes with a unique PSI, which stands for pet specific item. It's an adoption. Yeah. Come on, take a third thing. I want to give you more stuff. I'll allow you to throw in a signed poster. So. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> but I'll make them. I'll make them agree to this first. Okay. Because I don't want them to think that's part of the initial deal. But I'll throw okay. it in as a bonus. That's fair. Oh, no, it feels no. so bad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, next time next time we'll do it with something a bit better because yeah, this like we could, we should do like uh next time if we have an upcoming event like Fall Fest or something, that might be kind of fun because then they'd be the first ones to get right. something. There you go. Let's throw in a poster. They were good for it. They've been friendly, they've been nice. Here we go. Awesome. Let's do this. Sally can pull this off. It's only her oh. second trade. Oh, here oh, we go. Wow. You did it again, Sally. Good I job. I'm not even going to trade anymore. I think I'm done. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. You you okay. won that game. Started with only a couple of packs of seeds and ended up with a solar powered car. Now, to be fair, just to be just to be honest, that is one of the the starter pets. So, it's it's a pretty common PSI. Mm -hmm. Just just to be fair, <laughs> yeah, but still, still it's, it's no. a pretty good one. And they were originally willing to give you all three of those items, so I think they were, and that I just would have felt horrible about it. So, yeah. yep. congratulations, okay. Sally! You Thank won. You. Thank you. This yeah. round and of a trading game at the clubhouse. That was so much fun. I love our trading feature in Webkin's World. Next Thank time you. we're gonna make you do it, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. And Sally and I will judge your traits. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, that's fine. I'd, I'd be interested to see what I could end up with. But guys, I wanted to thank everybody who we met in the clubhouse today. You guys are awesome. Thank you for being part of the show. And uh, Mandy and Sally, thank you guys for being such great sports and playing the game today. Yeah. Now, Mandy, it is time yeah. to give away a pack of that 2018 Fall Fest soda. Okay, so this code, which expires on January 31st, 2021, oh my goodness, <laughs> is W24PG2LZAVY8W7K4. And you can enter that in the code shop when you yes. log into Watkins. And so, guys, uh, let us know in the comment section below that you won your Fall Fest yes, soda. And, and, yeah, feed it to your pet, right, Michael? It's that's You drag yep. it into your room, and it opens up, and then you can feed the individual ones to your pet. And we can't wait to hear it. Exactly. And, of course, if you do leave a comment, you're going to be eligible to win one of those cottages, the Fall Fest cottages. So good luck to everybody. Sally, again, thank you so much for being part of the show. Thanks for having me. If you guys have a question for Sally, please email us, podkins at gans.com. And Sally, players can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, right? That's right. At YouTube.com slash webkins. There you go. And while you're there, check out some of our previous podkins episodes because, Mandy, those codes, as we just saw, they do take yeah, some they fire. That's right. Most of our codes have a nice long expiry date and we've released the odd code that doesn't have any expiry date. So if you have missed any previous uh, podcasts, be sure to go back because there might be some cool things you can add to your account. Absolutely. So that is a wrap on Podkins 146. Guys, tell your friends, tell your family about Podkins 146, about Webkins News, and of course, about Webkins. Because the more players play, the more everybody has fun. So until the next time, see you later, guys. Bye. Bye.